really do look like you you MC in a mean battle like a mean, rap. Like a mean battle rap. <laughs> on the left side, it, we got to hear is, is the bandana chorus too much. Strong on the life. right side, we got huh? milk dug Kev. <laughs> here the rules. Make sure y'all spit. <laughs> Coming to the stage, fellas, 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 get your ones ready for Meg the Scooper. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's what we're not going to tell you. Oh, there's your shirt. There it is. <laughs> don't do me hey, like Make that. sure your shirt shows the whole time. Why, Kev? Because you don't want your brand to be is associated with a Kevin naked lady. I don't want to be every comment like, bro, Meg, I thought she was naked. Yeah. I'll, actually, I should do the whole show like this because I feel like that will, seriously, that, that'll keep the retention up. The whole episode, like, no, I just Meg, went, You are a comedian in I'm your own I'm waiting life. for a nipple. I'm waiting. Yeah, they will. They will. You will be like this. Like, it's a... Uh... <laughs> You are more than your body. <laughs> <laughs> She's more annoying than her body anyway. Hey, Shut way up, more to hear. Hey, wait, to hear. Did you guys move into your new place? Yeah. Oh, I meant to ask you that, to hear how, how you like it. Love it, bro. No, shut up. I'm going to ask him because you didn't care. How do you like it, to <laughs> He didn't, he didn't mean it. to ask it. I love it. It's, it's <laughs> one of the best decisions we made, man. It, it's, it's great to have everything have a plate. You know, sometimes like you have a cabinet, you split it. I got this in here and this, and you know that second thing ain't supposed to be nowhere near that first. But <laughs> it's great, and it's great to have like a literal place to work out of, like because we needed that space. So, wait, are you ever work. gonna shoot from there so we can see? What part of the house did you put your cage on? Uh, I put it on the second floor, so like when I like wake up in the morning, I could go just work out on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how long y'all been in there to here? Hey, I'm in here. What's up, guys? <laughs> um, about two weeks now. I mean, the first week we were gone to Palm Springs for that vacation. Yeah, and yeah. We spent the last week in here, so. Going into um, oh, we moved in already, or are you still like getting? No, nah, we moved in. We got we got the bed yesterday. So the only thing we're waiting on now is a couple of dresses and nightstands, and then we're good. We are, you, uh, are you a fully move in right away type person, or like take a couple days? Uh we we. Uh, so we had a, a moving company, two men in the truck. They moved everything and end up going over because you, like, you say, yeah, three hours is enough. Let's add another man. That'd be more than enough time. It was definitely six, so it doubled. But oh, So we didn't have to have friends help us move anything. We just had friends come over on Saturday and Sunday and help us unpack. And with like eight people there, we were able to like boom, 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 boom. Because like we literally had people on every floor like unpacking stuff, so. Okay, every floor. Hey, how many floors are there? It's it's not that many. Is it more <laughs> than two? It's got to be more than two if you said every. Yeah. You said it's every like floor. Four. It's three. Okay. Three story with an attic. No, no, it's just just three floors. Three floors. <laughs> have you checked for an attic? Like L.A., where one's like a like a not a false floor, but like it doesn't have everything. Yep. Like a loft. Don't, no. don't, first of all, don't y'all try to diminish his three floors. Yeah, why can't it be three full floors? I'm no, not it's, diminishing it's, yes. it. I'm, uh, I'm, you I'm are. Is it only a half floor? No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's three bedrooms, two bedrooms on the top floor, one bedroom on the um the second Middle floor. floor. It's three full three full baths, so every bathroom has a shower right. and a tub. Like, not just the, just the toilet. It's full, three full. What neighborhood are you in? I'm in Glendale. Y'all oh, grilling man. him like you don't think this is possible. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, a, it's a move up. We proud. Yeah, I'm proud of the move on up, man. I'm proud of you. To hear it worked out like it was all God because you know I normally they make you pay like the uh, they make you pay the the application fee and then they also make you pay the deposit. Well, because we went to go see the place one day, they was like, if you do the application fee right now. Uh, you could pay literally just one hundred and fifty dollars for the application fee and the deposit if you're approved. And so you don't have to pay an additional deposit. So we paid $150, and that was the deposit. Pat, are you at a counseling session? <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually next to, to here. I'm at Kevon's right over there. studio. Are you really? Why don't y'all just get in there together? Oh, so we could just fit in one little box? Uh -huh. like, hey, we are hey, a we're group best deal. friends. <laughs> no. Ah, because when you, when you talk, it mutes the mic from everybody, and I need all my words heard. You hear me? There you go. Kevin on stage. 
Yo, that's so funny. Look, look at Kev. See, that's what I'm talking. Kev's a boss. You got people at your studio. You at, he's not even here. Kev, first of all, Kev has a smart fridge. And oh, uh, I just why. saw your Instagram story. I knew you were gonna bring it up on here. Wait, <laughs> why wouldn't I? I bring up everything. Why? Like why, like the, why is there a text feature on your fridge? Yo, that fridge is the best. The, that ain't even the why. Pat. Hold on, Pat. It has a camera inside of it. So if you're at the store and you forget what you have or how much you have in the refrigerator. We did talk about that. That's kind of useful. That's kind of useful. That is super useful. I can't tell you how many times I bought mayonnaise unnecessarily. You know what I'm saying? That's a a, a, a problem because you know exactly how much mayonnaise you have. That's number one. No, or health or or unless you want to see who fat ass is going in there to eat at night. First word. And then you can talk to the fridge. Ah, ah, you know better. (laughs) Put that down. You can? Yeah. Wait, oh can you do that God. right now? Can, can your friend say, hey, it's a little late? No, I don't have it's a little the, late for uh, that, Kev. It's disconnected from. Um, oh, that's a hilarious. That's a hilarious sketch. That yeah. is a hilarious <laughs> sketch. You I mean, you I guess you would need it to just do it off screen, but that's a hilarious sketch because it wouldn't be I, any lagging if you did it through yeah. the. Through I'm the, through a the, salesman's like best dream. Best dream. Like, oh my god! Like, hey, I need a fridge. They're like, this one has an iPad in it. I'm like, I'm listening. Oh, cool. Why? <laughs> I'm listening. What do you Go actually ahead. use, Kev? What do you actually use on that? Sm- I just don't get it. Well, it's what got, the, it's got the pictures. It's got the pictures. You can write your list on the refrigerator, and you can send it to your phone. Oh, if you man. have the app, you can also send it to your. Um, you can send it to your. Um, what if you write like a cuss word on the fridge? Does that go to your phone? You say what? If you write like a cuss word on the fridge, if you like. I why wouldn't it? My niece, you, she used to draw on there when that fridge was at my house. There was a, there's a coloring option. Oh, you moved it? There. Yeah, that was at my, uh, that was at my old house. That was house. before the mansion. That was before the mansion. It, it, it didn't fit. Shut up. It didn't so, fit. Oh. Listen, I've been to Kev's new house. Where the refrigerator is supposed to be, there are three guys holding like blocks of ice, <laughs> blowing on it to keep the food cool. They're Welcome back, Kevin. <laughs> Wait, Kev, why did you get rid of that fridge? Do you have a different fridge now? Because in this house, uh, I don't remember the term, but like the fridge is supposed to be flush with the cabinets. So it's like a short fridge. That oh. fridge is like huge. Got it. The back. So it would actually be like jutting out into the, into like the island. It just wouldn't fit. So never, you never, don't need the smart feature, huh? No, I, you absolutely don't need it. It's, I'm just, I just live in excess. I was like, this is cool. And then I never, I never went to the grocery. It's funny because I would go on the, you can order Instacart on the fridge. So I would just open the fridge, see what I need. Oh, and that's then tight. The door and order Instacart. I did that way more than I went to the grocery store. You can order groceries from your fridge. Yes. You can tell your that's fridge. amazing. You can tell your fridge what you want to eat. <laughs> and, and it makes it happen. Sick of talking about this. Wait, Kev, is it connected to the Wi-Fi right now, though? Uh, I, I never hooked it back up when I when That's I. That's it right there. Ooh, yeah. look at that! Can you watch TV hey, on it and stuff? Freaking, you can freak. watch movies on. It's a, basically an iPad. You can do well, everything. Wait, who stands in front of the TV to? I mean, stands in front of the fridge to watch? Well, if you're cooking, if you're cooking like, like people like Kev. Show. Yeah, <laughs> you watch a cooking video, an instructional video. Yeah, if you're cooking oh, in the helpful. kitchen, yeah, you can just do it. Like if you're cooking Thanksgiving like dinner, you can do everything from the kitchen. You don't have to do anything. Mm-hmm. Don't have any. Well, people just be TV. watching TV while they cook a lot of times. Yeah, yeah there's, no, like, nudes, there's no nudes in here, right? You didn't send your fridge anything nasty. <laughs> <laughs> the picture with how deep his belly button is. He's like, there's the mayonnaise. No, there's a file on there. Oh, the Brody, Bible. come on, man. What a I, was, I, hey, I set it up earlier. I set it up earlier to bring it back. <laughs> where's the whiteboard? Uh, it might be on one of those apps. That's it right there to the left. Oh, I don't want to. I want to. I want to do my own. I don't want to ruin it. So yeah, how do you, you like? Hit it, you just hit a uh, new paper or something like that. How do you make your kid feel good if they get like a report? You know, like a good report now with this type of fridge. <laughs> like you just stay on their screen for, for a week. Listen, you don't. You don't put report cards on that one. Bro, no report <laughs> cards and no kid drawings on that refrigerator. Right yeah. There. Oh, you have kid drawings. You just text yeah. it to the fridge. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I like oh, that. Oh, Pat, I meant to tell you, I was in Santa Monica last night, and I seen somebody wearing cloudy merch. What? I was he, what? he was wearing the cloudy mask. I was trying to get him, but um, he 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 turned too quick. That's Kev, right. is this why you were driving the Maserati? Y'all know Kev got a Maserati truck, right? Hmm. I wasn't driving. 
I was. I just, uh, I just replaced whoever your your nephew or whoever that was. My niece. It's fine. She doesn't Boom. go to the office. Even if she did, I want to. See <laughs> Patrick, is your cloud? Is it? Is it? Is it more like aligned with like Final Fantasy cloud or like? Uh, like the, the 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 internet cloud. I'm not even roasting. I'm really asking. Was in third grade. Nah, I was. I, I I never paid attention to the teacher, so they called. She called me cloudy to make fun of me. Ah. Oh, you have a you villain a origin story, friend. huh? Yeah. You have a villain origin story. Yeah, <laughs> a villain. And I decided real, yeah. to take over the weather, and I drowned her whole town. <laughs> take over the weather? Just say, listen to me, weather. You're coming with me. <laughs> that was the cloud. No. <laughs> Yeah. Kev, what happened to that other small fridge? You got rid of it? I got rid of it. Fun fact, um, somebody, Greg, I think, had put a whole bunch of stuff in the freezer portion of that fridge mm -hmm. at the beginning of quarantine, and we dropped it oh, off in the oh, office yeah. and then didn't go back there. I thought it was empty, and we came back after quarantine, and it had the worst smell, like two-month-old ice cream, protein bars, some chicken and broccoli, so you just I got a new fridge. <laughs> it, was, it was the worst, so we just we just got rid of it. I'm talking about the small one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you talking okay. about the mini yeah. fridge? Yeah, the mini fridge. Yeah, yeah. Greg had put a whole bunch of stuff in the freezer portion. Really? I didn't know they were using that part. Yeah. Mini fridge isn't for food. No, nah, it was only that's what I thought. It was only for like water and soda and stuff. But he was like he was storing his meal preps in there. And nobody ever <laughs> did you do like, that. I was like, why are you putting that? This is marinating some chicken in the in the mini fridge. How do you forget Bro, about meal prep? You literally cook for like a whole day so that you can eat for the week. How do you forget about it? He's like, man, jack in the box. He <laughs> <laughs> would be bringing meal prep, and then we would when we'd have production days there, we would just order Postmate. And then when people are like, hey, you want Postmate? She's like, man, forget about it. chicken and broccoli. I want, <laughs> I want BM Chang. And then, yeah, that's what I used to do it all day. I used to have meal prep, and I would eat two of those at the same time, and then go to lunch with y'all. <laughs> You'd eat Monday through Wednesday as a snack. Oh wow! <laughs> and then still be like, "Yeah, oh, clams so casino, oh, guys, let's go." Before. What'd you say, Meg? Now then, you'd be like, "Clams casino, let's go!" After eating two meal preps. <laughs> at the Palms was the best, man. <laughs> those were the, the best of part. Times. What's the casino part? I think it's the bacon. I actually don't know. Maybe it's, it's just a, a name, Pat. It's just a freaking name. Okay. Well, it had to mean something because yeah, there's a, a mean talented something. producer named Clams Casino. So I figured it had to be something Is good. Is there really? Yeah. So and maybe he's a he had a gambling addiction and he liked clams. I don't know. Why are you frustrated? Um, I wanna um I, I added Erica Badu to see if she would come on. Uh, I saw that like, this morning on Twitter. Yo, they've been retweeting it like crazy, bro. I know she see it, bro. I know what? Uh, oh, that one white dude that be playing the keyboard all crazy, she did a YouTube video with him. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Erica Badu, 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 Badu is out of your way. You know who knows her uh, to hear? Who? Waleed. You know, but here's the thing, though. Like, a lot Why? of a lot of people that she has a line with China, uh, Chinatown Market or China oh. World Market, whatever that clothing shirt is. Yeah, Chinatown Market. Chinatown you know, Market. Um, Waleed knows her, bro. You should go through Waleed. You know he be hooking stuff up. I will. I'm gonna reach out to him. But a lot of people that retweeted it, she follows them too. Like I was going to their page. I'm like, man, Erica just she be following random people. So I know uh, she's seen it at least. Trying to get her with, on zooming. Yeah. Let me. Can I at least just be in the lobby of that episode? No, you'll be on the episode. Put me in whenever you get big people to hear. Me too. Hey, I'm hearing this right now, and for me not to be a part, I was literally just left out. For me to just, for you to just help, he, like, how can you share this with me? At least do this in private. Now I have to be a part of this shit. You don't have to. I have no. to. That's disrespectful. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. <laughs> hey, so next week we're going to have Erica Badu on, guys. Pat, you in? Kev, you in? Nick? Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's do it. It's going to be great. <laughs> to be fair, we oh, first skin looks okay. amazing, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, man. Oh, really yes. Sir. What have you been doing? Just, I don't know. Something about the quarantine has been great for me. Like, I feel real bad for other people, but I've, I've been making money. I've been, my skin has been good. My son is in school. Like, we are. <laughs> he's in school? Yeah, he's, he's got accepted to a kindergarten. It's going to be some, like, like some dope, like the oh, Waldorf he? method. Or, he's five. Wow. What? Yeah, I, yeah, I have like to do I adult stuff. just had him. I know, I dude. And now it, it, it slipped up. Dude, he almost wasn't because I was like, wait a second. I have to do that. Like, I'm, I'm thinking like, so when, when did your kindergarten start? Like, nigga, you have to sign me up. Hang on. 
<laughs> just realized, is that a Guitar Hero mic? Yes. And it works. It works. They're sending me a Yeti. Who is Guitar Hero? <laughs> no, Caffeine. But oh. right now well, I'm using this. How would you even think to, to try that? Well, I, I, dude, I was in a mix and this thing had USB on the end. I was like, let me see. And then no one knew. If I hold it like this, they're like, oh, bro, you just. <laughs> I hate how he sounds better than us, though. He sounds great with the, with the Guitar Hero that mic. The fact weird. that he has to hold it for two hours is hilarious. No, That's what's so funny. Even like he's auditioning I, for all day. No, no, my, <laughs> <laughs> no, this was my mic stand. This is even more embarrassing. This is the bottom of like a, like a, like a, store, a shelving unit that you, you put together. What? Like, that looks like a bong. There's a lot of weird stuff going on outside of the frame of this show. I know you gotta hold it like you're about to preach, like you a you a fire youth Ah, minister. I hold it more like it's youth Sunday. That's wild. That's a good place to jump right into it. So we're gonna move on with the very first topic of the day. All right, first topic of the day we have finding out you marry someone with a criminal history versus. Finding out you marry someone with terrible credit. Let's talk about it. Wait, okay, how bad question. is the criminal history? That was is literally like, going to be my question. Do well, you I mean, have a lot of parking tickets or like you did like, someone. And how bad is the credit? <laughs> well, like, the credit is shot. Like they, they, like, like 200, 200 they, credit they, score. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking about double digits. Just double digits. We talking about an 80. Oh, well, then oh. you're talking about murder in comparison, though. You're talking about you're dating an ex-felon murderer or... I mean, it could, it, could be, it could be somebody that was trialed for murder, but they weren't indicted on it. You know, trialed. Trialed, trialed? Trialed for murder? They were yeah. Trialed? Yeah. Hey, but, um, looks like he meant tried for murder, but he said trialed for murder. <laughs> Oh, I'm sick of that. I keep trialing, trialing, trialing and trialing and trialing, and I can't get nowhere. <laughs> I'm sick of trialing all the time. Test yourself off and trial again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't feel bad about that one. I didn't know if it was trial or tried. Like, the I didn't fact know. that Tahir didn't know and he just jumped out there with like trial. <laughs> That's they don't be trying trial. to use their court, their court show head, jargon. Yeah. They'd be jumping out. I think he's indicted, know. right? He's indicted. No trial. You know. You know what? <laughs> Pat, it's so much you don't know. Don't you ever laugh at me. You understand me? <laughs> hey, but I don't know concepts. You don't know basic words. <laughs> you don't know basic <laughs> words, Pat. I'm I know words. I know words. I know words. I know words. You don't know. Okay, wait, so if, hey, like, man, okay, let's just so how, stop all this arguing and, it, and we need to trial again. Come on, stop all this and let's just trial this again. <laughs> you need to trial your messy bun again. It is ridiculous. No, I think it fell good today. <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on how it falls. Do you ever feel like you have a bad hair day, Pat? Um, yeah, and then I just redo the bun. <laughs> then he and then you'd be line. like, oh, bad B status, like afterward? Nah, but I, when, it, when it falls right, I do give myself a little, you know. Okay. <laughs> when it falls right? <laughs> Pat, I want to see you with the with the butterfly uh, filter. <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> it's a baddie's birthday today. Baddie's oh, birthday. I pretty much walked into this on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, here I ain't never had. I never had a lot of hair. I've never been able to go. If you got to turn to the side, you know you feeling yourself, Pat. <laughs> No, I don't know. Your bra and panties match too, huh, Pat? (laughs) (laughs) I got worse. (laughs) Oh, yes. Yes, this is perfect. Back to the question to hear. I think it's, um, I'm thinking about my wife. She has amazing credit. She has no criminal history. But I feel like having bad credit just sucks. Having a criminal history could be interesting. Like, were you in for money laundering? Like, what is it? Is it a family thing? Did you not strip snitch? Is it like a Rico case? It's yeah. not necessarily all bad. Bad credit, there's there's no interesting part of that. That just literally makes your life harder. Yeah, yeah. But if you find what out- What if you got the criminal, bad credit because of a Rico case? <laughs> it could be, it could go hand in hand. You're mixing it up, Meg, that could be interesting. <laughs> But what I feel like if you if you didn't know she was, or I mean, she or he was a, a, a criminal and you found out way too late, there's probably like some extra stuff that goes with that. Like she might secretly be doing some wild stuff or secretly be like, a like I'd rather you be 
in a rough situation financially than me find out that you're like a like a, a person that I didn't know, you know? Like yeah, you're finding out that deeper. there's like a murder in the in someone's past, it, it kind of doesn't sit well at dinner, you know. Just like, oh yeah, yeah. You, you, I think you can get past like, oh yeah, you know, we'll we'll get that credit repair, we'll go fix your score, we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll actually to call the number on the screen. But that murder, that's I think there's certain crimes that I change would change the taste of your dinner, yo. A, a murder, I, I wouldn't be so mad if it was like. A victimless crime like you scam somebody or you like scam the system or insurance fraud that's a victim scamming somebody that is a no no not, not like a not like people like you scam the system or you beat the bank out you of somebody stole, like, yeah 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 I like stole you can't date a scammer you cannot date a scammer well here's hold on i have a bigger question and a bigger concern why did y'all significant other not tell you about this because i feel like in your time of dating wouldn't have it have come up like have you I been to jail? So, so, you so where's your ready? ex at? How, where's, your, where's your ex living? <laughs> so, listen, when I first moved, was like simple assault. When I first moved, Farron out here, simple, simple uh, assault, simple assault, just like a fight. I know, but I'm saying, what? Like, I think that's a bigger concern. Man, like, why have a simple assault crime? Because that fight in college, if she would have pressed charges, you could have a simple assault. Then I would have uh, pressed charges on her because she hit me first. <laughs> But you would still, a guy dating you would still be like, oh, you, you got a criminal background. You're like, bro, ain't nothing but a simple assault that got tossed. And you're like, But Whoa. I would have talked about that. I'd have been like, yeah, I'm a G. I got simple assault for this. <laughs> oh, my God. So just so you know. <laughs> this well, I don't like that because I dated a klepto and found out. And I also dated a drug dealer and found out. Oh, oh. What, what was she stealing from you? Uh, no, no, no. She didn't steal from, well, now that I think about it, maybe she did, but it was like, it was like literally like she would tell me, she's like, yeah, sometimes I just have to do it. And the one I remember was like, it wasn't even like a dope one. It was like, we were in like a bookstore. I think we were in like Barnes and Nobles or something. And she literally like hit a corner and then came back and was like, I got you like a, I still have it though. It was like a guitar blues. Uh, like it was like for a guitar. Like She's like, pick? I got you something. And I'm like, we ain't left yet. <laughs> so like, I, I, that, that's weird because those are the, those are the females that steal while you're asleep. Um, but I don't know. They you're currently the, uh, in the possession of stolen goods. You said what? You're currently in the possession of stolen goods. It was a, you know, it was, it was like a, it was like a music book that taught you blue scales and stuff. Oh, and boy. to be fair, I, I never used it. So I technically didn't sin. I just accepted it. Um, but <laughs> I also dated it's a, a crime in college that with sold the knowledge pills. I found out she sold pills and was like had hella money. So that was that was weird too. Did that make you more or less attracted to her? You know, I like ambition. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pills? Wait, how did, did you find out though? Okay, and what kind of pills? Um like E, Molly, and um like Zans, like like muscle relaxers. So hey. She she had money, but I just didn't know like you know because she. Wait, how did worked. you find out though, Pat? She just she told me, but it was like it was in, it was like really far in, and then like seeing her do like a deal was just like it almost <laughs> got you moist. <laughs> <laughs> you know how like in narcos I had that wop. <laughs> <laughs> you know how like in narcos. It always shows like Pablo doing deals, and then it shows like the wife of the drug dealer. Like, be careful. that was me. <laughs> I was just at the safe house. I was just at the safe house, stressed out, like, ah, Santa Maria. <laughs> I hope she was looking at it, looking at a deal. <laughs> But to Kemp's point, it does it does matter what the crime is because if it's like minor drug dealing or something like dope, it's it it can be like oh that's that's dope. But if it's like murder or like she's like a sex trafficker or something, that's just kind right. Of weird. What if it was an accidental murder? Like what if it was a murder in self defense? Oh whoops! I would have said, why didn't you tell me this before we got married? <laughs> well, you didn't break into my house. I just didn't need to. <laughs> Self-defense is worse because like there are people out there who killed someone in self-defense and I feel like they're totally like at, what am I trying to say? It's not their fault. Like I, I feel like that's, if, it, if they were trying to save their own life mm -hmm. or like who was the girl who killed the, the, um, the man who, who put her the in trafficking, trafficking? Right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Toya Brown. Yeah. yeah, like I don't see that as like, oh, she's a like, you know what I mean, a murderer or something yeah. like that. I, I see that as justified for sure. Let me tell you, a lot of, 
I don't care. When, when Farron first moved out here, when I first moved out, out here, and I was putting her on the insurance, like my, my uh, car insurance, and she had some tickets that she had forgot about, but she also didn't tell me about, and they told me my new insurance quote, I was about to send her back. <laughs> tickets? Send her tickets? back to St. Louis? Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Bro, Damn. my insurance was 130 by myself, full coverage. I put her on it. That joint jumped to 375. And this was before the videos and all of that. And I was like, oh, you got to go. This ain't going to work. This ain't going to work. That's just the same price as you times two. No, times two is 260. That's, that's right. definitely that is that was that wasn't even a hard math problem. Okay? I'm not good at math. I was like, I don't see this problem. Seventeen plus seventeen. Wait, you oh you said one thirty. I thought you said one seventy. Mm-hmm. So that's two hundred dollars more a month. Yeah, you can't this, add. This it, you don't know. What's one seventy times two though? Is that three hundred over three hundred? Three forty. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought you said one seventy, but you said one thirty. Mm-hmm. Damn. You can't send your wife back like an Amazon package to here. You wasn't. You want you want my wife then. <laughs> Where's that shipping label? <laughs> oh, you were just still dating her. Mm-hmm. You were so like, why'd yeah, you put her on the yeah, insurance? Uh, I thought insurance. We were living right. together. Yeah, we were living. She was spitting that game. Parents spit that game. You're like, yeah, daddy, put me on that insurance, daddy. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I got you full coverage. Yeah. <laughs> She's also so taller than to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's because Tahir got that waff, that wet ass poop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a waff in here. Oh. <laughs> Let me waff that waff. <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> this is an unhealthy, this is an unsafe work environment. This is worse Man. than is this worse than Ellen? Even, even Ellen's people were like, okay, hey, now you get five days off. I was like, hold on. What what were they doing? They did not get five days off prior to this. Now they're just probably they're probably roasting like like way more savage behind the scenes, and we just don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Ellen's just a Ellen's pastor. Pastor. Y'all you, do y'all be in like any Zoom meetings where everybody's super nice to each other and you're like, where what's wrong with me? Like, what did ADD do to me? <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> What did all death do to me? It's so bad. Brent and Doughboy had me on their show, and I was skeptical the whole time. I still am skeptical that it was a prank or they were bet to to to, to call me up. I'm like, we don't talk that regularly. Why do y'all want me? Why do y'all just want me out? When the I booth? told you you had nice skin, bro, you were like, okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I snap in. I'm like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we be setting up the the uh, roast with the compliment, like oh, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so demonic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Walk I don't away. Know, after all these years, why we expect it to be like, oh, Kev, your head looks nice. You're like, oh, thank you. It's your big old goofy yeah. head, old cinnamon <laughs> toast crunch head. It's like, an oh, ambush at all times. It's an ambush. <laughs> like here, let me open the door for you so I can slam that shit on your back. <laughs> <laughs> on your back. <laughs> And that used to be so nice. Y'all don't understand how like savage I've gotten because you know women aren't ro- women don't roast like that. They don't talk about each other in the way that guys do. Yeah. But like I'm so used to working with y'all. So like when I say something about my friends, I've I've, I've had to like let me scale back because they were looking at me like what? I was like, oh my bad. It's just I'm are you the worried. meanest in your friend group now? I am. He always been. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember when Meg used to not roast. I have to exp- I have to come with guarded up with you too, Meg. Meg always the sneaks one in. I thought Meg was safe. She Meg's the worst off now. She's a bully. Just on quarantine. I thought you were a safe face, Meg. She's a bully now. All right, let's get back to it. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Um, which one is worse? Um I, I say bad credit. Bad credit? Really? Bad criminal, criminal history. history. I say criminal history because credit is easy. One one? Fixed, but history's yeah. of the past. So, Brody, which one? you say criminal history? Too? I say criminal history for sure. Yeah, you can fix right, a credit score, man. You can't bring a person back from murder, from <laughs> homicide. I don't mind if you. I mean, if you did a crime, that's fine. I don't. I don't judge people's past, but it's like I feel like the not telling right you about that is more important for other stuff than the not telling you about credit score. Okay, so what you you going with? Uh... Criminal history too. Criminal history is worse. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go with with credit because I feel like criminal history. If you're not in jail, 
and you still able to work and you get some money, I don't really care. Like, you know what I mean? As long as it wasn't like you your <laughs> That's because you got a criminal history to hear. <laughs> <laughs> you pull you yours out. Like, all right, what you, you are, this was This whole little thing was about you. Like, okay. Because I did this to my wife. I ain't telling how bad my <laughs> criminal history was. <laughs> Here you got, a, you got a rap sheet? Here was selling bootleg fedoras. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> I have a past. <laughs> it's I went burgers. to McDonald's. I robbed all their burgers. <laughs> I got all the papers right before we went out of the country, Kev. Did you really? Like papers as in probation? Yes, sir. Wait, what, what do you mean? You what? what is you papers? guys sir. All right, so it looks like the uh, criminal history <laughs> package, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go on to the next topic. Right after this. Yo, what up is to hear more. And I want to know what's your morning routine? Like, I, I know for me, I have to get up. Uh, I have to have my coffee before I talk to anybody. If I talk to somebody before my coffee, it's going to be a problem. After I have my coffee, then I brush my teeth because I'm not about to drink coffee with toothpaste still on my. I, I just can't do that. Then I have to make my bed. It's a must. I cannot start my day when my bed is a mess. And one of the things I take the most pride in is my linen, my sheets. I am an adult, and as an adult, I feel like I deserve some quality sheets. So that's what I did, people. I stopped at Brooklinen, and I hooked it up. Brooklinen is the home of the internet's favorite sheets. They're comfortable. They feel great. I don't know. It's something about new sheets. I look forward to going to bed. I went to bed yesterday at 6.30 p.m. You understand me? 6.30 p.m. Who does that? Me. They're like new shoes. I couldn't wait to try them out. I slid right in and I was comfortable and I had a great night's rest. You can't beat high quality sheets at a low price. Founded in 2014 by a husband and wife duo, I just want to say Rich and Vicky, I appreciate you, okay? Thank you for making something so supreme, so deluxe at an affordable cost. I appreciate you. Another great thing about Brooklinen is that they work directly with the suppliers and the customers. That's it. Just the vendors and the customers. That means it's no middleman, which means you get to collect on those savings. Save your money. Still get the quality, but save your money, people. Brooklinen has a variety of sheets, colors, patterns, and materials for your lounging needs. Anything that you can think of, they got you covered like a bed. <laughs> you see what I did there? You see it. And you can bundle. The more you bundle, the more you save. Listen, you can get duvets, core sheets, extra pillowcases, all of that. Why wait? Act now. I don't want to tell you what to do, but I also do. Brooklinen is the perfect place to start making your mornings great. And Brooklinen is so confident in their product that all their bedding comes with a lifetime warranty. Who else is giving you that? Huh? You can't name three companies off the top of your head. And I can name three. Brooklinen, Brooklinen, Brooklinen. So get 10% off your first order and free shipping when you use our promo code SQUAD. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D, only at brooklinen.com. Again, go to brooklinen.com. Use our promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, -D, and you will get 10% off your first order and free shipping. Holla at ya boy. What's worse? Helping someone move versus babysitting. Helping someone move. Absolutely. How many kids? Absolutely. It don't matter. How many kids babysitting? Are we talking like six? Let's say let's say, let's say twins. Oh. How old are these twins? Because if oh they're like 15. Oh my God, Megan, just think of the <laughs> No, because this matters. The if, if they're like 10-year-old the twins, race, just think look, of the case scenario. It makes a big difference. If they're 10-year-old twins, you give them an iPad, things. you good. It's easy. But they if they're like, they're not potty trained, but they can walk. Oh Lord! So they like toddlers. Oh gosh! And what, they're teeny. Is Where the father in the, is the father in their life? <laughs> Do you need to go upstairs in this move? Up yes. Front stairs. Yes, there are stairs in the move. Moving. And and with the kids, they're twins. Moving they're work. toddlers. They're not. Can they walk potty upstairs. Trained. Can they walk upstairs? Let's move these on, on the. Yeah. On the, on the kids, Brody. Yeah, can uh, they go, yeah. Can they go he said they can walk, so yeah, they can walk. They can walk, they go, yeah, oh, they just shit. slow. They you just can slow drug kids. No, they fall down ain't slow now. They no, fast. They, and they, they walking, up the, and walking up the stairs, no. Sliding down, they're definitely fast sliding down. They slide down on their butt and their back. Oh, man. I'm telling you. White kids, black kids, what's the twins? <laughs> what are, what's their race? <laughs> it also matters. It's how you can beat these kids, how you can discipline them. White. They're white kids. They're white kids. Oh, Lord. Do they... 
man, they're are used, we the they, first black person? They're used to timeouts. Uh, the dad travels a lot. He's he's in the life, but he, he he's going a lot. <laughs> Work calls, duty calls. Yeah, the mom is a lush. Why she's a wine lush. On these kids? <laughs> She's a wine lush and she cannot wait to start drinking again. So, yeah, now you're making it hard. For the weekend, for the Catalina wine mixer. That's why you want (laughs) the wine mixer. (laughs) Oh, it's for a weekend? Yes. Oh, Oh, wait. No, No, that's not equivalent to moving. One day of moving? Well, no. Sometimes moving is is like two days. Like sometimes if you got to move. You don't ask for more than one day. Right. Ain't nobody asking for that. That's payment. You, uh uh. So we'll say eight hours of moving and then like a day, like a whole eight hours of watching these twins. Because that's that's fine. Eight and eight. Moving, moving, moving is worse because it's physical. it's, It's physical, like work. You know, I know, and you got the upper body strength of a newborn baby, so I assumed you would say that. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, Pat. Imagine you frail. It's okay. Baby with the same amount of hair he has now is hilarious. <laughs> Patrick uses those little furniture slides you put under the legs. <laughs> I dished it. I'll take this. Anything else? <laughs> no, moving is absolutely worse. At least Sometimes kids can be fun. Maybe they take a nap. Maybe you take them to the park. Moving just sucks. It's hot. Things are heavy. People are never packed up good enough. Something goes wrong. It just it just sucks overall. Mm-hmm. I know, because you built like an armoire. That's why. <laughs> oh, wow. What the fir- wow. You're like, hey, y'all stop trying to move me. I'm here to oh. help. The word armoire really sealed the deal for that job. That really stuck. That's really what made it really. I heard the you in there. I don't, I, that's, man, that's. That was a a capital U in there, man. It ain't ain't no you in armoire. Yes, there is. No, A-R-M-O-I-R-E. I will say this, being, not being big and strong, makes you miss a lot of invitations to move. I've prob- I've only been asked by the closest of people. Nobody's really like, oh man, we got this guy right. hit Patrick up. <laughs> it's, it's more Pat girls probably called Pat up. in the middle of moving and like do his hair so many times, people would get frustrated. And like, all right, man, we're gonna do the couch next. All right, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, yo, hold, hold, look, pick up from the left to the right. <laughs> but low key, I am the dude, if there's a couch, a, a giant chair and a lamp, I grab the lamp. And I'm like, come on, guys, hurry up. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm, that's the, well, that's that's the, the thing, too. You also don't know people's property, what people have. Shoulders. You know what I'm saying? People have weird shaped stuff. You know, and they're like, hey, can you just figure this out? Help me hold this Christmas tree. And you're trying to struggle with like stuff you don't care about, too, like like old china or old plates or something. You don't you don't care about their stuff. Babies are easier. You can like you could chill. You can put on an iPad. You can you can watch it on, on your phone and kind of let them just play with each other. They're twins. They're gonna play you with each other. You can drug regardless. a baby. You can <laughs> drug the kids. You don't drug other people's children, Pat. White white parents do it all the time. They, That's because it's their kids. You can't be drugging somebody else's kids. You give them a little Benadryl just as a precautionary measure if they pass out. <laughs> so many parents have said that. I, it has to be a thing. People Benadryl will... is real. Not even Benadryl. What's that other stuff? Um, Ritalin. Night- to Ritalin, Ritalin? For all de- that's for uh, that's, that's for ADD. It. That's for this. I was almost calling it. That's for all damn digital. All those, Patrick, all those, y'all child, don't ever have parents, no kids. All Ritalin those parents is not to no drug children. Those parents who have no patience, but they still won't hit their kids. They're just like he's so hyper. I don't understand why, even though it's an eleven-year-old boy, and they <laughs> give him they give him a uh, medicine to calm him down. It's kind of messed up, but you just you suggested doing that. Huh? Right. You're suggested doing that. You're one of those parents. He's like, I still have some of those pills for my ex. They need to go somewhere. <laughs> Call back. Nice, Brody. Call back. It's all going to come back. The mayonnaise one more time. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't like kids. I would almost rather have someone move two days in a row than watch a kid for an hour. What? That means no. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Because think about it, I don't, first of all, it's too much (laughs) dust. I don't like touching people's dusty, dirty, nasty stuff. Hey, Tom, looks like Meg's not exempt. She said dusty. Well, I I feel to hear, though, because kids never choose. Hey, Tom, 
dumb. Kev on stage is dumb, and I don't like him. And that's all I wanted Ooh. to say. Bye. You ruined it. Ooh, it's not funny anymore. Ooh. We don't even do that. <laughs> and you cut Brody off, rude Meg. I did. I was being very rude. I'm Meg sorry, rude. Brody. It's okay. I was just going to roast to here, but it, the time has passed. No, yes. no, do it. Do it. Too late. It's not. I'm, to here, what was your last point? Let's set it up again. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Kevin, did you? Oh, get I'm saying, but think about night? it. Like, what'd you say? I was asking if Kev got enough sleep last night. I feel like Melissa kept him up, beating him or something. He's yawned 46 times. <laughs> you know, go to sleep. He's, he, Kev is literally oh, Mondays. <laughs> I woke up at four o'clock in the morning this morning. You he did edit. text the group. Kind of I was early. Uh, editing. Uh, I had to re-edit JoJo's podcast. When is it dropping? Nice. It came out this morning at six. I just took some stuff out. Oh, it's out? It's out. JoJo out of it? I'm out of here, bro. My kids are going to pass me. I I got, I thought I had a couple of years. I am done in these streets. When he started talking, I was like, oh, God. (laughs) That's like the best form of slavery. You can make them become stars. You could kick back. You know what I mean? Make them rack rake in all the money. You could just. We got unemployment from Ace. I got unemployment. and it's, it's, It's nice. Let me just say from that. what? From your son? Yes. How you do that? He's an actor? I'll tell you the cheat codes after. Yeah, I can't tell it <laughs> online. There's some cheat codes, yeah. I, I always felt a way about filing for unemployment, and and I shouldn't because you pay into unemployment. So you're it's your really, money. It's, it's your literally money your money, back. bro. It's your money. And and yeah, the funny so thing weird. is, this pandemic relief, you're able to get even more. You're able to get a six hundred dollar additional subsidy to whatever you would receive. So if you receive a flat rate of like 150 bucks or something, you'll get an additional 600. So that's $750 potentially a week that you can backtrack to that's March 14th. How much unemployment pays? There's $14,000 up for grabs right now. 14,000? 14k per 14, person. Yes. Really? That's crazy. Yes, dog. Even file for oh, yeah, I'm going to call you right day. after this, bro. I didn't, I know. I didn't I know. either. My phone line's going to be hot after this. When it I happened, I was just like, I'm going to just figure something it. else out. I refuse. I don't know why I refuse, too. It's like, why I does my son have, my son I has tried. a bank card, bro. He has a I bank tried. card with his name on it. I try to um, do it, but the questions are so tedious. When you're filling out life for unemployment, I was just like, I'm just going to sell dope. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to be broke. <laughs> That's what I did. I got the, I got the acceptance in the mail. That's what they like, do though. They do that. They do that because they're like, man, these people are gonna get bored as fuck off the first page, right. and then and then we're gonna give them the good stuff. But that that first page, is like, can go find your social security card or your number. Everyone's like, man, I don't even know my social. Whatever, I ain't doing this. Just yeah. find your social. That's the hardest part. Everything else is pretty much what? standard. <laughs> All right, long, so moving back, social. helping someone move or babysitting. What's worse? Move. Moving. 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 Really? Mm-hmm. For everybody? Kim? Moving. Moving without a shadow of a doubt. That is literally the worst. Really? Yes. Okay. I'm still going to go babysitting because kids suck. So well, I- yeah, when they, when they think you're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Stop asking me for three wishes, kids. That, that was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't make cookies, damn it. I don't make cookies. <laughs> that was good, Brody. That was, that was good. <laughs> Take us to your cookie factory. I'm not a Keebler elf. I thought this was the fudge <laughs> shop. What do you mean? <laughs> I want to see the inside of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> give us a boost. <laughs> no, you Brody, give me. Your nose got better along with your skin getting better, huh? Was well, that you know, because 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 people can listen to me. The acne is not so distracting now. Y'all like, damn. Where do we go next? We got to go to the R and B look now. You so. <laughs> We have to listen to them now. Nothing works on them. <laughs> Nothing. Pat, you <laughs> shut up. Yeah, I'm just sick of you all the way. You shut up. <laughs> oh, snap. I, had I thought I was going to go back and forth with, with uh, Brody a little longer. That did not work. It, that bad <laughs> thing. I thought He's I was going to go for Pat. Yeah, shut up, Pat. That's all I got. Just shut up. <laughs> shut up. Looks like the moving has it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to move on to the last and final topic. Right after this. Hey, what up? It's your boy to hear more, and I am here to tell you guys about one of our amazing sponsors, Raycon. Now, listen, we're all at home. Some of us have more people in the house than what we're used to. 
Uh, when you want to listen to your music, you want to listen to your music. You don't want to hear somebody in the other room, what they're watching on TV, or what the other person in the other room is listening to, or what they might be talking about on the phone. You don't want to, you don't want to hear all of that. You want to hear your music, and you should be able to hear your music uninterrupted. And you definitely can hear your music uninterrupted by getting the new Raycon Everyday E25s. These bad boys right here are the latest model to drop, and let me tell you about it. Now, first of all, everyone needs a great pair of wireless earbuds, but before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on them, check out these E25s. Why? Why should we check it out to here? Well, I I'm glad you asked, baby. Now, listen, that newest model, the Everyday E25, is the best one to drop yet. Six hours of playtime. Six of them things, okay? More bass, uh, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and this new compact design is perfect. It is a perfect noise isolating fit. You can't get any better than this. Listen, these earbuds are comfortable. They're perfect for taking phone calls, taking conference calls, virtual calls, whatever you're doing at home. These are the ones that you need to be doing it with. You want to talk about a game changer? These bad boys start at about half the price of some of the other premium earbuds on the line. However, you get the same quality as some of the top brands that you know. Now, you've heard me talk about this a hundred times. You know the company was co-founded by Ray J. You know superstars like Brandy, J.R. Smith, uh, Snoop Dogg have endorsed it, and Cardi B, she loves it. But listen, it's nothing like trying it for yourself. So that's what I encourage you guys to do right now. You, yes, you, our listeners, you guys are going to get 15% off right now when you go to buyraycon.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. Get your first pair, okay? Experience it for yourself. See what it's like. See what all the hype is about, and I promise you, you won't regret it. So again, get 15% off when you go to buyraycon.com slash squad. Do it today and tell them your boy sent you. It's actually nowhere to say that, but you know, if you want to just send an email, it's like, yo, to here, kill this. <laughs> Won't be mad at you. Holla! Last topic of the day, which is worse? A year without TV versus a year without music? Is streaming and movies all... All of that. All of that's in TV. All of that. Oh, man. Is music still within TV programs? Like, is there, or do the scenes just have no music now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like no, background. they kind of have music. I mean, like, there's nothing you can, like, listen to. Like, oh, I just want to listen to music. But you can't, when you go work out, you ain't got no music to listen to. If yeah. you're just chilling in the house and you want to play music, there's mm -hmm. nothing to play in the background. Hmm. I've listened to considerably less music in quarantine than when my life was normal. Why yeah. do you think that is? I'm not Nobody, traveling as not much. Because yeah. he can't still, play WAP around the house. Music. His wife will. <laughs> <laughs> he can't bang WAP. <laughs> I didn't hear either time what he's <laughs> good. Cam had a uh, a, a, a mixtape with all the jingles from all the fast food restaurants. That's all he was singing while we were on tour. Unreleased <laughs> Arby's soundtrack. You you stumbled out the gates with that. You you hit the ba -da, first. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> ah, that nigga just went through your your critique. <laughs> That's a funny tactic. <laughs> Just plow through it. <laughs> I'm still doing this. I don't care what he says. Ba -da. <laughs> that is hard though, because I feel like in quarantine, you're watching more movies and you're watching like, just, t you know, TV in general of, of streaming services, whatever, old videos, something like that. But it, also people are working out more. Um, so it's like, what do you listen to when you work out? Is that nothing? A lot of people aren't working out more because they don't have the gym access to them. No, that's just you. No, Kev too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You could, a lot of people don't listen to music. You can listen to other Actually, things. you know, now that you say that, I'm thinking about because I typically, I'll put my headphones in, but I won't listen to it because I need like quiet time to think. So sometimes I'll do that instead of listening to music. You put in oh, headphones now? don't play yeah, so, yeah, look, so, look, so people wouldn't bother me. Oh, I thought it was the sound like of the that. voices. You got some voices in your head, Meg? <laughs> no, it's for like, you know, when you go to the gym and stuff, I ain't trying to be bothered. So let me oh, you be on the bench doing 350 and people be like, when are you going to be done? She like, I'm just getting started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hey, partner, come help me out with this, partner. <laughs> How you think they shoulders got like that? I don't need to be bothered. Hey, you, really don't, you, you really don't listen to music while you work out? Sometimes I don't. 
You a serial killer, bro. I don't listen to music sometimes either. When I'm on the <laughs> treadmill or elliptical, I be watching Narcos. That's funny. Sometimes I just need to clear my head so I don't listen. And even in a car, sometimes <laughs> I'll drive with the music off. I just need quiet hey, for a second. Kev only does that because the treadmill isn't on. He's just standing on the treadmill watching Narcos. <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> Who's acting in the workout if you're watching TV? You're not like, you're not. You notice working. how many TVs are in the gym? That's because people be yeah. watching TV. It helps you yeah, focus but they, on they know you're not really like, you, you're gazing up at it, but you're not like literally getting a real workout if you're watching the TV. Like, you're the type of dude that warms up his treadmill before he gets on it. <laughs> <laughs> let me let it run a few. Let me let it run. run. No. I didn't get the fat <laughs> joke of that. <laughs> Oh, okay. Fat joke of that. <laughs> I know it was a fat joke. <laughs> Warming up your treadmill? Come on. I thought it was kind of funny. Wait, so what if it wasn't quarantine? What's harder? Yeah, I don't I don't think that it implied that it was a quarantine yet. Yeah. Right? No, I'm just saying I, I used to listen to way more music when I was, you know, driving in on the, the way car, to work. Yeah, on the way to school. Going to and from shoots and stuff. Being in traffic for a long amount of time, mm -hmm. you listen to more music. Uh, now, LA still there's still hardly any traffic anywhere. I re I think that's I think it's worse to have no TV because even with TV, if you're not looking at it, you can still hear it. So like, if you needed to replace music, technically you could just still like put a show on and listen to it as opposed to like listening. That's what to I was saying. If you, if you had to pick, like, if you had to the, pick. But does the show have music still? Because then you're that's kind of like. Now you're, you're just using TV shows as our music, so we're playing like. Ain't nobody listening to music in a show, Brody. Hey, what you mean? Yeah, they, at, if at it's, of, uh, even if of, it's a snippet. Have you no, watched the end of a movie? There's a song at the end of every movie. There's gonna ain't be a nobody song. listening to that song, Brody. You not even listening to it. I might if there's like a post credit. <laughs> that is might. funny to put on a TV for the music. That's weird, like to put on a show at the end for credits and then start jogging. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be, That'd be the way you'd have to do it to hear music. That'd be the loophole, though. Yeah. Unless they just snatched all the scores away from music. That's what I'm saying. That's an important, like, part of this variable because that changes it. Like, if you if literally, no, you, could don't. Just, you can up, literally Brody. just look at people laughing and talking and, like, drama. She's so mad. <laughs> She's Shut up, Brody. Everybody listening to those. I found a loophole in your question, Meg. That ain't even a loophole. Ain't nobody <laughs> turning to She's the so end mad. credits for music. That's a loophole. I, 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 I beat this question. Shut up and go take your braids out. <laughs> music, music aside from TV shows, I think if we just stick to the core of the question, no TV or no music, I would go no TV. I feel like that'd be a productive year. No TV, yeah. same here. Uh, you don't be watching stuff, though. I do. No. I do watch. I just don't watch no, anything man, that comes you up. You be the most not up on stuff. But that's just because the stuff I watch is never brought up in casual conversation. Like with There's nobody watching it but you. He's he's watching the Cloud Wives page. <laughs> what are your what are your top three shows of this year, Pat? Hair videos on YouTube. See, I, I thought I I, 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 I was in the setup. I, I was genuinely in the interested setup. because you said I was genuinely interested. That's what happens too. The person asking the question, don't be the roaster. I was genuinely like, what you be watching if nobody else is watching it? Mm, bonnet reviews. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want to hear the answer. How to tie your ass up. So, ladies, you going to the beach? <laughs> this little number will really <laughs> bring that summer in right. So, you the have a fucked up beard? This is what you do. I don't know. I don't know. What I'm <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. Huh? Yeah, what you do you really watch? I feel like you don't watch, like, regular series, like, stuff that people be watching. He watches Quibi shows. Quibi was a thing for, like, a minute, and people were like, Man, shut up. <laughs> what happened to Zeus? It's still, it's still there. They got a new show with uh, Drea coming out, and they got a new show with. They got uh, some really interesting shows on that. Actually, I'm about, I'm about to um, get it just because I'm like, this sounds. They got that OnlyFans show. <laughs> For real? Interesting. Black, Black China's hosting it. You guys should look up the uh, the trailer for it. It's actually really OnlyFans interesting. show. Only fa it's like a documentary on OnlyFans, and you get to see, you get to hear from some of the like highest paid creators. There's a dude on there with cornrows who opens his butt for camera. That's all he does. He just like turns around and opens up his butt on camera. Five hundred k a month. Hold on, for an open butthole. Mm-hmm. He just does a little. Whoop. What does he have a? 
I don't. Is it just because he does it, or is he? Is he? It's. It, 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 I don't know. I just saw the trailer, but it's just like. <laughs> How can you keep doing like why would you pay like I get once you've seen the open butt, why would you pay a, a Because kid? there's some sick people in this world, Kevin. Okay? They up like the date, man. doing that. But I'm and saying like what's the fresh open butt? Like here's Wednesday. Yesterday <laughs> was this it could be maybe it's different lighting or something. Yeah. Just what he's wearing that day. Wait, is it it's the wait, caption. I've never been on OnlyFans. If you're on OnlyFans, can you like can you like chat while it's live and they can see what you're asking? I no. Okay, I've never I, I know a couple girls who do OnlyFans, and it's everything from porn, just straight up porn, or the, a lot of people just do like bikini pics, bikini like un, uh, what is it called when they have like, like a, a bunch of and they try it on, like trying on stuff. I know girls who do dick pic reviews, like you could send your dick pic in and get like That's a pretty. Full, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Full I review, and they say they don't go under seven because you you don't want to insult your audience. <laughs> every <laughs> every rating is seven to ten. <laughs> this no one says that's a four out of ten. Your dick needs work. That's um, funny. It's 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 a lot. It's a lot going on in there. Wait, I'm saying, but is there like a chat where like it's alive? Because then I would understand why people are looking at the same butt. <laughs> like every night. I don't think any of them are live. I don't. I've never seen that. Uh, I don't know, yeah, I don't know if you could broadcast live on. Oh live my video. god! What? You found the open butt? No, I've just watched the trailer. Some people who've been on our channel are on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all yeah, check the chat. Oh yeah, lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of our I friends. Good attempt. I've seen like time. three people that were in our circle already, but this person is. You know what's so crazy is that I was it on there, though. When, when Pat first said something, I was going to be like, so who do we know that's on this trailer? Because you just brought that up way too casually. I already figured something like that was going to happen. Yeah, but I mean, they're killing it on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, getting on back to uh, the topic at hand. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, how do we get there? <laughs> 500 open butt. Open butt. Open butt. My thing is that doesn't, you don't, like, that has nothing to do with your sexuality, opening your butt for money. Here's the thing. I know, I, I, I've i seen some videos of chicks who do things like that, and they have, like, the balloon knot. And for for people who, <laughs> who are not used to that, that's just like, <laughs> Wait, think I'm about sorry. what a balloon that, knot looks like. You mean, like, a hernia? No, no, think about what a balloon knot looks like. Some people just got an outside butthole, like an Audi. Yeah, and it kind of looks like a balloon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, look it up, it. Jeff. Look up balloon knot. I'm not. I don't it's every, it's gonna change tail. every birthday party you go to for I'm the rest good, of your life. Good, bro. I'm good. That butthole hanging out the butt, hanging out between the cheeks. I'm gonna send you something. I'm gonna send you something. Oh, no, I just you said see I'm it. Good. I don't want to know. I'm Let me see it. I will put it in a group chat, and I'm like, this for Kev. Don't, don't. Yeah, but, There's so much honey in this trailer. Honey is a big deal with the- Oh, audience. God, that cleanup has to be trash. Honey oh, is so no sticky. Word. All right, so- uh, I don't like how it What was the question? Like, well, I'm not going to let it go to waste. Brody, we <laughs> don't be staying on topic, bro. That's It's a whole thing. No, it's no, a no. whole I, thing. I want to give. I want to just give my answer because I got to get out of here, but I want to definitely give my answer before I go. All right, what is- I forgot what the question was. A year without TV versus a year without music. A right. year without TV. You need, you, you need the music. The music can uh, bring people together. You can dance. You can still party. You can do different things with music. TV is just one activity where you're looking at something. You have to be looking at it, basically. TV brings really... people together? Yeah. I think music is, uh, is one of those things. You, you, you can play music. You can create. You can still cre I think you can still do like theater and acting. That can be, that can be people's uh, film or TV. Kevin, your face, you need to stretch out one of them eyebrows, man. Because right oh, now, I don't know. It is wild over here. <laughs> this trailer is uh, yeah. the trailer? What the heck, bro? Let me see this. I want to I wanna review it with you. Well, listen, let's, while we're do, while, while, while we doing that, let's go ahead and, and put all the other ones in there. What do you got, Meg? I'm going to say, wait, is it what's worse or what is? What's worse, Meg? Oh, um, a year without TV because it has music on there. It has like I don't know. It's easier to right to see stuff that you can visualize. I'd rather see something than hear. So, okay, yeah. What about you, Kev? No mute or no TV would be way harder for me. Okay, all right. 
I enjoy watching TV and, and movies and shows. I enjoy music too, but I I would I would miss my shows. Okay, so one for music, two for TV. What about you, Pat? What's worse? Um, I would I I feel like having no TV is worse. But since I do music, I would go no TV because I feel like that would be a very unproductive year. <laughs> okay, cool. And I'm going to go uh, no music. So uh, three to two on that one. The music has it, and that's been another episode. Uh, what is the show? Squadcast. Hilarious. <laughs> I got like four shows. This is I got like long episode it's, feels dirty. To, it's, it's to, it here's, to, here's, uh, to here's to here's Treehouse. All right, guys. We'll talk to you. Thank you so much for the uh for the suggestions. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, Brody. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Peace out. I see this trailer is.